<laughs> Yo, and welcome back to season two of The Walking Dead. I can't believe this. Last time we ended up getting shut in the shed, so now we've got to try and figure out either fine. how to get out of here or wait till the morning or who knows. But yeah, let's crack straight back on. Let's see what we can do. No weapons in here at all. But I have still got that knife, I think. Let's have a look at everything. Toolbox down there, let's check that out. Not much left in here. I guess if I have to, I can use this for stitches. Uh, see, I might be able to escape, but I'm going to check everything else out first. What's in there? Nothing. Ah, uh, something on that shelf. I didn't spot that. Hammer. Really? Nothing else at all. You'd so be able to get that. Oh, I see. Unfold the table, stand on top of it, get the hammer. Makes sense. Maybe not such a good idea after all. What was that pot there for? Alright, let's try and escape then I guess. Uh, I'm guessing we'll use the hammer. I still think it's a safer idea just to stay in here rather than escaping. safe in there. It'll be a good place to stitch up my arm. Oh, I see. So I've got to sneak about, find um, a needle, and then stitch my arm back together. Door, window. The door isn't probably a great idea. Open screen door. We'll try this window. Ow. I think it's getting worse. We go further around. <laughs> Can't even reach that one. So I'm guessing this one's gonna be the same. <laughs> ah, what's that look? Use the old hammer. Uh oh. What the hell?
What the hell's going on now? <laughs> I don't know where I am. What is going on? Why has it put me in this camera? I can't even see what's going on. Oh, is there, there's no point looking through that window. Maybe you're not meant to go through the hole. Of course. Of course what? This girl makes no sense. It makes me feel like a fucking idiot when we're not on the same page. We are on the same page. Not out there, we weren't. Not about the girl. I saw you get soft. What do you want me to do, Beck? Put a bullet in her? I want you to think about our family first. It's all I think about. So don't give me any shit. I need some air. She's coming outside. Is he gonna give me any though? What the hell are you doing? I... I need your help. Me? No. I'm sorry, but I can't do nothing. Please. I need to fix my arm. Are you out of your mind? Even if you ain't bitten by some lurker, which you probably are, you can't be here. You gotta get out of here, you understand? Get back into that shed and Carlos will take care of you in the morning. I'm sorry I bothered you. You should be. I don't have anyone who will help me. Come on now, don't get upset. Don't get like that. I'm serious. You need to get out of here. I saw when everyone was arguing. You wanted to help. You didn't see anything. Look, you gotta get out of here before my wife finds you. I'm serious. You gotta go. I got enough problems already. Oh, uh, what do I put? I got a baby on the way. Rebecca's all emotional. Got a mess of hormones causing all sorts of trouble. I don't want to get you in trouble. I'm already in trouble. Just talking to you. No one else will help me. And for good reason. I'm just a little girl. I'm screwed if anyone finds out I did this. You understand? Yay! It's yes. gonna help. What do you need? The bu the cut on my arm needs to be cleaned and stitched. Stitched? I ain't doing that. I'll figure it out on my own. All right, look. I don't know what I can find. We're short on bandages, but I might be able to find something clean that will work. I need something to clean it out with. And a needle and thread could help, too. I don't even know where to look. Carlos has medical supplies on lockdown. We don't got much these days. Well, whatever you can get, I'll find the rest on my own. Okay, wait here. That was quick. I'll do some bandages. And I, uh, I got you a juice box in case you're thirsty. Thank you. Alvin, house meeting in five minutes. Oh, okay, thanks. Now you need to go. Alright, so what else do I need now then? I need a needle. Alright, I still think I really need to go back down there and hopefully the camera doesn't like mess up this time and I can get through that little hole. Alright, let's try again. Nothing so far. Uh, looks like there's light coming through there. I don't even know what that really is. I don't really want to bang it with a hammer. Oh. 
Oh. Didn't realise that to even tap any buttons then. Oh, great. Broke my knife. I got it open though. I need to listen to what they're saying. Bet they're going to kill me. Or maybe I'm not going to listen to what they're saying. Here we go, listen. Oh, I can still do it. They show up and we've got her locked in the shed. You think we should bring her in here? No, I'm just saying it wouldn't look too good. It's just a precautionary measure. Anyone else would do it. Hey, what's going on there? I don't even know his room I'm in. Doc. <laughs> I don't even get that. I'm guessing there's nothing in here. Listen again. Not seeing anything else. What are we supposed to do? Not leave her out there to die? Better her than us. You'd have done the same thing. It wasn't the brightest idea. Oh, a fire in your rifle was, huh? Next time we'll just put up a neon sign says you won't. Where are you going, bro? I want to get my sweater. Oh no, that woman didn't like me. Run! So I've been walking around for ages outside trying to find a needle. Turns out there's nothing out there at all. So it must be in here. Oh, I can go further around. It's got to be something around here then, yeah? I've got the sun coming in through my window. I can barely see anything. Bathroom door, bedroom door, another bedroom door. Let's try the bathroom. It's probably more likely there'll be a needle in there than in a bedroom. I don't know. Medicine cabinet. Needle, hell yeah. Yoink. It's clean. I still need something to keep it from getting infected. Look at the shower. I'm guessing that's it for this room. Oh, what's that? They have to have medical supplies around here somewhere. I want to get caught stealing medical supplies, aren't I? That 
afternoon sometime. So that was empty, so it makes more sense to go in there. his baby. Let's try and escape them. Do I bother checking the other bedrooms? Yeah, why not? You're not supposed to be in here. Hi. Can you please help me? I'm not supposed to talk to you. My dad can't know. Help me, and I won't tell him. I... That was a bit of a threat. I don't really want that. Please help me. I, well, I shouldn't. What happened to you? A dog bit me. Sounds scary. I bet it hurts. Want to see it? Um, it really wasn't one of them. It really wasn't. Okay. Ew, gross. I know, right? You have to bandage it like my dad does. Yeah, I know. Help me. I just need something to clean it with. I bet it would be with the rest of your medical supplies. Yeah, it is. Thank you. I'm Sarah. I'm Clementine. We're friends. Right? We can be best friends. I haven't met another girl my age since way before. She's my age? It's hard to be the only girl, you know? Rebecca is okay, but she's old. And that's it. And if her baby is a girl, it'll be forever before she's old enough to, like, be my friend. And I'll be so Yes, we are friends. Promise? It's important. Friends have to trust each other, no matter what. I promise. Me too. Friends. A pinky swears forever. I'll see if I can find the stuff my dad uses when I get a cut. Let me look around. Well, that's a bit strange. I think this is it. That'll work. You can't do it here, though. Someone will find you. Don't worry. I won't. He's going to walk in now, isn't he? Oh, no, it's me walking out. My bad. Thanks, Sarah. <laughs> Shh. Okay. Better get somewhere safer to do this. Hmm. A broken down shed looks like. Sounds like a good idea. Playing risk. Mm. 
Why would the wardrobe be like locked? Oh, I didn't check that one. I don't really need to watch, do I? I don't even really know why I took it. Go any further this way? No, that's it. Time to make a quick escape. Back to the comfort of the nice shed. Indeed it will. <laughs> Shall I have a quick drink before? Right, now we're ready to rock and roll. So, clean it first. Have another quick, quick sip. Need my energy levels up. Go. You won't know that much, I'm sure. Again. Don't pass out, don't pass out.
Is that it? Are we done? Last one. Oh, let's have another drink. <laughs> Let's have another one. Now let's crack on. <laughs> oh, I knew something was going to happen. No way. Get him on that spike. Holy shit. What the How did he get in here? Little girl's tough as nails. Are you all right? The shed should have been safe. Are you happy? I could have died, you know. Well, you didn't. Oh, I ate her. Just needed some help. You patched yourself up? Where'd you get that stuff? Did she steal from us? This doesn't change a thing. She hasn't done anything to us. Says the man not carrying a baby. I did. I took stuff, and I'm sorry. I really am. And you think you can trust her? God damn it, don't even start. Any of you would have done the same if you were half as tough as this little girl. So just save it. Bring her in, and I'll take a look at her arm. Damn look, is sneaking around out here. We better get inside. You hungry? Yes. This might hurt a little. Ow. How she look? Her suturing skills need some work, but otherwise, I say she should be fine. So, it wasn't a lurker bite? If it was, the fever would have already set in, and her temperature would be through the roof. You wouldn't have done what you did. I was hurt, and you weren't helping. Because we considered you a threat, which you were. Maybe you still are. No, I'm not. We put you in that shed out of concern for the safety of our loved ones. And then you escaped and persuaded my daughter to steal from us. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But there are a few things you need to know about my daughter. Okay. She isn't like you. You may not get that initially, but once you're around her for a while, you'll understand. Oh, I got that. If she knew how bad the world is, what it's really like out there, she would 
cease to function. She's my little girl. She's all I have left, and I would ask that you stay away from her. You don't have to threaten me. Rebecca was worried you might be working with someone else, that your being here was no accident. I guess we'll find out. But one thing I know for sure, you are not to be trusted. This is great. Stay away from my daughter. Hey, uh, brought you some food if you're hungry. He seems to be like the only one who actually likes me. That's gonna leave one hell of a scar. Better than losing it. Now you can say that again. Scars? They're way cooler than stumps. Definitely. Hey, look. I just want to say I'm sorry for well, for being a dick out there. I got kind of aggro, and that was definitely not cool. Nick's been known to go off every once in a while. Don't hold it against him. Yeah, I guess we all have our moments. You definitely had one out there. You were just protecting your friends. I get it. Well, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I just... Uh, we had a bad experience once. We've all had bad experiences. Nick lost his mom. We took care of someone who got bit. It was my fault. I... It was no one's fault. We thought we could control it, but we couldn't. And then she turned, and his mom was standing right there, and she got attacked. And there was nothing we could do about it. Anyway... Hopefully you understand. I do. Yeah. Another friend I've got. I still did steal someone's watch though. So I'm sure that's going to come back to haunt me, but... So, since you're pretty much on your own, what's your plan? I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. If you let yourself heal up, take some time to sort things out. Do you think everyone else will be okay with it? They'll just have to deal with it. So, what happened to your parents? If you don't mind me asking. I mean, I assume what happened to them is... What happened to just about everyone's parents? As if you ask about. So young. Didn't think you could have made it on your own for so long, but maybe you did. Other people took care of me, if that's what you're asking. I was just curious on how you made it this far. I just tried to stay with good people and not do anything dumb. Hey, I'm sorry. I. I shouldn't have asked. Oh, what? My parents went on vacation and left me with a babysitter. And they never came back. We went to Savannah to find them. But they were already dead. Wow. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. This man found me and took care of me. We met up with other survivors, and we all tried to make it, but it didn't work. His name was Lee. He taught me how to survive. He's the reason I keep my hair short. What uh, happened to him? I ran away. I was stupid. There was a man who said he knew my parents. 
I thought I knew what I was doing, but I ran away, and Lee died because of it. Maybe he would have died anyways. It was my fault. I just... Sometimes people die because of me. I hate to interrupt, but I'm out there standing watch and I can't help but notice this place is lit up like a goddamn beacon in the middle of the woods. Yeah, it's time to turn in anyways. Now get your winks while you can, because we're going fishing at first light. Couple fresh brookies for dinner? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? That's it then. Best go get some winkies. Oh, you're still here. I only just met her, but I can't stand that woman. I wouldn't get comfortable if I were you. Maybe you fooled everyone else, but not me. What? Who? Don't pull that shit on me. I'm not my husband. What? I'm sorry. I don't understand. Yes, you do. I just needed some help. Well, you got it. Now go. I'm sorry, okay? It's too late for that. I knew the moment you showed up, you'd be a problem. Why am I a problem? Stay the hell away from my husband. Whatever. How you holding up? I heard you got an earful from Rebecca last night. Once she gets going, there's no bringing her back. Her bark's worse than her. What's her problem? Yeah, well, she's got a lot on her mind lately. Bringing a baby into a world like this. How's that my fault? How far are these fish traps? It ain't much further. Anyone teach you how to shoot? Yep. By that I mean taught proper. Any idiot with a finger can shoot. My friend Lee taught me. That's good. It's important nowadays. Nick was about your age. First time I took him hunting. Came across this beautiful 13-point buck just standing there on the ridge line. The boy takes the rifle. He lines up the shot just like I taught him and... Then I hear him start whining. He turns to me and he says, I can't do it. I can't shoot it, Uncle Pete. Please don't make me shoot it. Really? No way. Hey! Why didn't you wait? You want us standing around while you piss on a tree? You know where the river is, boy. Anyway, so I grab the gun out of his hand before the big buck runs off, when bang, the gun fires. Boy nearly gut shot me. And, of course, the buck gets away. What are you going and telling her this shit for? Because you almost blew her face off yesterday. Seems relevant. Trying to let her know it's nothing personal with you. Why are you always giving me a hard time? Because you're always giving everyone else a hard time. I apologized already. She accepted. Okay, well, I didn't know that. It's fine. He apologized. You're always trying to embarrass me. You're doing a good enough job of that on your own. Leaving us again. I know where the fucking river is. Alright, it's all I need. Another domestic. So anyway, I found that buck later that season. Shot it right in the neck. Brought it up to my sister's figuring she'd want to freeze some of the meat. Nick didn't speak to me for weeks. Sometimes you gotta play a role. Even if it means people you love hate you for it. He doesn't hate you. Nick's father wasn't there much, and he was a piece of shit when he was. So it fell to me to keep him in line, raise him right. 
meant I couldn't just be nice Uncle Pete. Uncle Pete! Nick! What's going on? Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Are they zombies or actual people? Ah, uh, full of holes. Who do you think did this? Not sure yet, but it ain't your average gang of thugs, that much I know. Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? Who's Carver? Check those guys there. Be careful. Some of them might still be moving. What's going on? Well, I think I'm actually going to leave this video here. It's actually been a fairly long video. But yeah, if you have enjoyed it, feel free to drop it a like, subscribe, you know the deal. Um, these should all be in a playlist, so if you wanted to watch the rest, then it should be up fairly soon. If you missed any of the previous ones, that'll all be in that as well. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one. So cheers. Bye.